The final preparations are getting in place for President-elect Donald Trump's inauguration on Friday. And more than 100 Chattanooga women will travel to Washington tomorrow, but they won't be cheering on the new president. Allison Levine explains what the group aims to do. On Saturday, thousands of women will march on Washington, D.C. Leanne Barron will travel almost 600 miles from Chattanooga to join them. I think this is a great opportunity for people to come together, like all over the country, all over the world, really, and just let their voices be heard for love and peace and equality. The message of the march? Inclusiveness. Like America is better together. We're a country of immigrants. Everybody's from everywhere else. And so I feel like the inclusiveness that we built this country on needs to be reaffirmed right now. While their message is broad. Our circle of influences are, are relatively small, but when they start overlapping, they get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then we have this amazing sense of community with people who in some ways seem so different from us, but then in other ways you realize they're just like you. Christine Nguyen recognized that not everyone can travel to Washington, D.C. So she organized a sister march here in Chattanooga. So we can all gather um, and we can all we're aware of each other's presence. Nguyen expects more than 1500 people to march a two mile loop starting at Coolidge Park. It will probably be the biggest march that's thus far in Chattanooga. Participants like Karen Claypool say they are marching to voice discontent. I think it will show them that we are empowered, mm -hmm. that we have a voice and we need to raise our voices and um, not just accept the status quo. Allison Levine, News Channel 9. Organizers for both the Washington, D.C. and Chattanooga March say it's not just limited to women. They ask men and children of all ages to march in solidarity. The Chattanooga March will begin at 3 p.m. on Saturday.